Bean Blossom. Let's get our hands together and make them welcome once again right here at Bean Blossom 51st Anniversary Festival. Little Roy and Lizzie Show! <laughs>
got lined out for you here. Here's another brand new song off our latest release that we hope you enjoy. One called Today's Gonna Be a Brighter Day. I like to start my day saying hello to my Jesus. Cause when he talks to me, he makes me smile. He makes me want to sing and praise his name forever. I know I'll never walk alone from home. Today's gonna be a brighter day. Gone roll the dark clouds away. I believe Jesus surely must have heard Ooh. me when I prayed that day's, day's gonna, gonna be a brighter day. Jesus, when I woke up this morning, I know today will be a brighter day. Today is gonna be a brighter day. God roll the dark clouds away. I believe Jesus surely must have heard me when I prayed that today is gonna be a brighter day. Everybody's dark. We can't see them no how, Lizzie. <laughs> standing, Tell them directly, who we are. standing directly to my left, he comes all the way from Spruce Pines, North Carolina. He's a dairy farmer, and we call him the Dancing Milkman. Y'all make welcome Nathan Stewart on the mandolin. All the way to my right, also coming from Spruce Pines, North here, Carolina. Look at here, look at here. He used to work at the penitentiary down there. Now he's riding in the prison bus with us, watching after Little Roy. Y'all make welcome Tyler Biddick's on the guitar. He's using head and shoulder shampoo. Look at him good. You can't tell his head from his shoulders. And brand new to the group, only playing his second weekend with us here, coming all the way from New Brunswick, Canada, via Lexus in Kentucky. Y'all might have seen him at two with the Spinney Brothers. Now he's traveling with us. Y'all make welcome Terry Poirier on the bass fiddle. Standing to my right, you've all seen her for more than over 60 years from the first family of bluegrass gospel music, the Lewis family. Y'all take a good look at him. He's the only man i ever seen to wear suspenders in a belt. You know what they say about a man that wears suspenders in a belt? A belt holds his pants up. Suspenders holds his pants up. See, a man wearing suspenders in a belt most likely indicates he's got no underwear on. <laughs> Y'all make welcome the entertainer, my pappy, Little Roy Lewis. All right, let's hear about it. Let's hear about it. Oh, that makes me feel so good. Well, about a year and a half ago, Lizzie made a bad mistake. She got married. I'd been wondering about her getting married. She had really got down down in Georgia where with them tall pine trees. She'd pray every day, Lord, send me a husband. She'd go down in the woods, Lord, send me a husband. It went on for three months or more. Every night, Lord, send me a husband. One night she was doing that old hoot owl said, who, who? She said, it don't make no difference who. Anybody will do. Are you happy to see Lizzie Long tonight? Here's your old Well and Jennings number. We hope you enjoy it. One call you asked me to. One, two, three, four. Long ago and far away In my old coming lady shoe Turn the world on which way Just 
A new song that's on our brand new album. Our cousins Jeff and Sherry Easter sang on this song with us, along with Paul Harkey from Ernie Halsey Signature Sound, the bass singer. We hope you enjoy this song. Here's one called Traveling On.
hot and humid out here. My fingers feel sticky. We don't got a request song here we're going to do for you. It's one Adam of Crest had 17 requests for this song right here. We sang it here last year, and a man stood up and said, sing it again. We did it again, and he stood up and said, sing it again. We did it again. He stood up the third time and said, sing it till you get it right. Here's a song that we hope you enjoy. It's on our Straight From The Heart of Dixie album. Here's one called, Didn't It Rain?
come from a little old town down in Georgia called Lincolnton, Georgia. You need to come down there. We just had our big festival. We had the Oak Ridge Boys and Connie Smith. We had our everybody down there. And it's coming up next May. And we want y'all to come down to our town and see our folks down there. Or if our town is kind of old, we got an old Baptist church down there. And that thing's got a steeple. And uh, it's been up there since the ni- early 1900s. And it's made out of tin. And I got a big old bell in the top up there. About a month ago, the church was so old that the clapper fell out of the bell. The ding dong fell out the bell. And boy, it hit the ground there, and the preacher was worried about it and didn't know what he was going to do the next Sunday. So he went out and tried to find somebody to fix it, and they didn't have time. So he found two men. One was kind of sick, and the other one, they were brothers. He said, look, we need somebody Sunday morning to ring this bell about 1030. And uh, they said, well, we don't know if we can do it. He said, well, it's worth $100. So the one that wasn't too sick, he said, I'll take the job. I'll be down there. And it, and the preacher said, you can't be late. you got to ring that bell at 1030 so everybody know to come to church. So he got down there and uh, he got down there and he looked at that church and it was way up in the air and that steeple was way up in the air on that tin roof. He said, how in the world am I going to do this? Preacher said, don't you be late. He reached down and got that ding dong, that bell clapper and he picked it up and it was about 50 pounds. He said, oh Lord, I don't know what I can do. He finally climbed up on the church there and he was climbing up on the tin. When he got up there, that bell was about that big around. It looked about that big from the ground. He said, well, only thing I can do is try to hit it one time. He took that 50 pound clapper and he hit it and when it did, it knocked him in the head and he slid off the building. All the people coming to church Started to gather around. One man said, you know who that is? And said, no, I never have seen him before. Another man said, uh, wait a minute, let me look at him. No, I don't know who it is. A woman stood forward and she said, wait a minute. She said, let me look at him. Said, I don't know who he is, but his face rings a bell. <laughs> so the next Sunday, the next Sunday, his sick brother, he said, uh, I just need the hundred dollars and I want to show my brother that I can do it. So he went back down there and they got him and, and uh, the preacher said, now don't you be late. He said, I won't be late. He said, Have you, are you going to be able to do it? He said, I think I can. So he went down there and he tried to pick up that 50 pound ding dong. He couldn't pick it up. He said, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to get up there and check it out. He climbed up on that ceiling way right up in the air and he's slipping down. Finally, he said, well, what am I going to do? The only thing he could do is stick his head up under the bell. Stick his head up there. Ding, 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 ding. And the bell hit him in the head and killed him. He laid out on the ground. People come up. A man said, who is that? Said, I don't know who that is. Another man said, I don't know who it is. This woman stood forward. She said, wait a minute. Let me look at him. She said, I don't know his name, but he's a dead ringer for his brother. All right, we're going to slow down now and do you a song here that Charlie and Ira Levin wrote many years ago. It's on our brand new album. We hope you enjoy it. One called When I Stop Dreaming.
Here's Lizzie's song. They've got a lot of airplay. Here's the blueberry pie. That's off my brand latest solo album. We're gonna bring Nathan around here and feature him on a song. He uh, he uh, took a lot of time up with Bill Monroe and of course Jesse McReynolds, one of his heroes. And we're gonna do an old Jesse song here. We hope you enjoy. The rest of us, I told somebody earlier today when we grew up, the Lewis family, the Lewis family knew never knew what a scary chord was, a minor chord. So we never did play a whole lot in them keys. But since Nathan's come around, me and Little Roy had to get in our scary mode, and uh, we are trying to hang in there with them. So we hope you enjoy it. Here's a song called El Cumanchero.
very fine. Well, we was talking about this brand new fella back here in the background here, and uh, we we have never had a Canadian with us before. Ever. Are you hot? I'm a, I'm a little hot. You smell hot. Yep. <laughs> Oh, I got my, deodorant on. I got secret. I got stereophonic hey. deodorant on. You can smell it, but you can't tell where it's coming from. Hey, well, listen to this. I got I got secret. Look, I got secret on, and it told on me. <laughs> anyway, we're going to bring the bass. Y'all just got that, didn't you? <laughs> we got the bass player, and he's going to come around. I'm not responsible for anything he says. Like I said, this is his second weekend with us, and so we're not responsible. He's still in training. But anyway, I, I hope never, you enjoyed all the same. Here's I Terry Poirier. I never would Poirier. have thought I, I'd have had a Canadian in my band. <laughs> but uh, say something in Canadian. You're a. Canadian bacon. That's what you are. One word. A. I got to tell you about these two fellas. They went to apply for a job. Neither one of them knew what they were applying for. So the first guy goes in. He goes for his interview. He comes out, and he's all proud. All right, I got the job. The other guy looks at him. He says, what are you doing? He says, come Monday morning. I'm going to be a pantyhose maker. The guy says, what? He says, yep, going to be a pantyhose maker. Monday morning, all day, I'm going to be making pantyhose. He says, okay. Second guy goes in for his interview. He comes out. He's all proud. All right, I got my job. So the first guy looks at the other guy. He says, so what are you going to be doing for work? He says, I'm going to be a diesel fitter. The other guy says, what in the world is a diesel fitter? He said, well, it's going to work like this. You're going to go in, you're going to make the pantyhose every day, and when you're done with them, you're going to give them to me, I'm going to hold them up, and I'm going to say, well, diesel fitter. <laughs> Tell, what gonna say, Tell them what you're going to say. Here's a little doing my time. Time. Gotta do my time. 
feature him on a song that Randall Hilton wrote him back in the 80s. It features Little Roy and all the many different instruments that he plays, all except the fiddle. You don't want to hear that. It sounds like cats screaming. But anyway, we hope you enjoy this song. It's a good song with a good message in the song. Here's one called The Good Time Get Together. He's getting my guitar ready over there right now. Boy, we're having a good time. We've been waiting all day to do this. And boy, it's a good crowd out there, and we appreciate y'all staying with us tonight. We're gonna do something we hope you'll enjoy before the show is over. Are we ready? Mm. Oh, this coming morning, eternity is dawning, and soon we will meet on that heavenly strain.
Well, Lizzie's coming around here and get me a guitar over there, if you don't mind. Boy, it's good to have good help like this. Boy, I tell you what, everybody asks about my wife. She's at the top of the hill up there. Everybody look at her. Let me tell you, it takes a lot of money to keep her in that shape, you know, I can tell you that. She gained a little bit of weight here a while back, and uh, she can't seem to get rid of it. And, uh, and uh, we went to our hometown the other day to get some groceries and looked over there, and it was, uh, it was a writing on the wall that said curves. She said, wonder what that means. So I got over there. I said, it says curves for women. She said, yeah, exercise class, yeah. Go here, get, here's the money. Go sign me up and tell them I want to come at 9 o'clock in the morning. I said, Bonnie, that's a, that's a terrible exercise just for you. And she said, listen, I got to get rid of some of this weight. Go sign me up. So I went over there and paid them and told them I'd bring her back at 9 o'clock. Next morning, we got out of the car and walked up there. She was really anxious to get started. We, she got through those glass doors. The wind hadn't even gotten out of the door good and she got into it she did this and she did this and she did this for about 45 minutes and finally she got a leotard on but the class was over about that time all right we did a workshop here earlier today about two o'clock and we had all kinds of rounds about banjos and such thank you, thank you. and it's demonstrating a little bit of the old timey way of banjo playing here we had a lot of requests for this old song we hope you enjoyed it here's one called cindy somebody I'd do them a real uh, religious song here. I'm going to do this so religious the other night. We played it somewhere. Uh, we played it somewhere the other night and uh, I felt so good that I got up and passed the collection plate. This is forever who wanted it. It's called Rock of Asia.
bandages up over there. Uh, Lizzie, no, up at the top of the hill up there under that shelter, we've had our stuff all day. And ain't nobody come up there yet. We need y'all to come up there and see our new CD and all our other CDs. They're $15 a piece. And uh, today we got, a, we got an overstock on some of our CDs. Anybody that buys one, we give them our choice of one or other CD. So $15 and you get another CD if you get up there early as they last. And we have our DVDs and uh, they're $20. We have hats and they are $15. And we have pocket knives. We have pocket knives and they are beautiful. If that wife's toenail had been catching you in the sheet, you can get rid of that toe or the toenail, either one, with a Louis, Little Roy and Lizzie knife for 20 bucks. Come up there and see our knives. And we're going on a cruise. Tell them about that. Going on a cruise January 24th through the 28th. <laughs> He didn't know I just rubbed my armpit with that, did he? <laughs> All righty then, let me see. Cruise, January 24th through the 28th. We're going to Cozumel, Mexico. It's called the Danny Stewart's Bluegrass Cruise. I want you to come along and sign up with Little Roy and Lizzie and be our guest as we host that festival uh, cruise down there. A lot of people ask me what it's like to travel around with Little Roy. If you want to know what it's like to be in a 40-foot bus for weeks at a time with Little Roy, by all means, sign up and go on this cruise with us where you're on a ship for four days and you can't get off. And Little Roy's on there. You will know. I don't know what you're saying, but I know it's got to be good. Oh, it's great. <laughs> yeah, boy, I tell you what, we have a good time out on the road. Uh, <laughs> Liz, she's a big fisherman. I went <laughs> fishing with her the other day. I got upstream and... Uh, and it was kind of late at night, and a, a lantern come floating down through there. And I picked up that lantern, and, and, and when I picked it up, a genie appeared. He said, I grant you two wishes. I said, oh, boy, I ain't been buying no lottery tickets, so this is going to be good for me. He said, what would you like to have for your first wish? I said, well, I always wanted to go to high warrior, and I don't want to ride a boat and I don't want to fly. I want you to make me a highway all the way over there. Old Jenny scratched his head and he said, boy, that's a big order there. He said, let me see what you wanted for your second wish. I said, okay, give me the knowledge to understand a woman. He looked at me and scratched his head and he said, that road to high wall you do, you want it four lane or two lane. All right, here's a song Little Roy's been doing for well over 60 years now and we hope you enjoy it. Here's one called Honey in the Rock. Ah. Oh, my brother, do you know the Savior? Please his wondrous kind and true. He's a rock of good salvation. Oh, there's honey in the rock for you. Oh, there's honey in the rock, my brother. There's honey in the rock for you. Leave his sins for the blood to cover. There's honey in the rock for you. Honey in the rock, my brother. There's honey in the rock. 
got it then. We got time to do one more for you here. Like Little Roy said, come up there and swap patties with us because we haven't swapped patty with hardly anybody today, being last tonight. But anyway, we do still have our TV, uh, TV up there for <laughs> our CDs. <laughs> so what? Hallelujah, turnpike. Well, can we do this one? And then maybe if we get a little bitty encore, we'll do that one. All right. Um, if I weren't able to get anything today, remember you can visit us at our... <laughs> you can visit us. There is not enough medication. <laughs> I, it's just it's beyond my limits. The doctor said I just can't take it no more. <laughs> We're going to the pain center up there at yeah. this show, right? Sure. All right. Maybe it's time for him to start taking the medication. <laughs> All right. Here's our last song for this part of the show, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Here's one. Hurry up. Hurry up. You're Come waiting on. on you to kick it off. I'm ready for you.
One more. Y'all make us feel so good. Bonnie, get ready. They're going to come up there in flocks. We want y'all to come up and see Bonnie and, and talk to us, if you don't mind. had not got a chance to talk to anybody today. Here's a song that was written for the Lewis family in 1980 by Randall Hilton. I'm rolling up that hallelujah turn by Loading up with joy in my soul Oh, this street glory bound And the devil can't slow me down Jesus already paid my toll Rolling up, we rolling And heavenly father up the road With the turning and return Oh, get down, me said he's too slow We're rolling up that hallelujah turn by Stop and go the other way Oh, brother, don't wait Then we're gonna move to the party game Move over in the passing lane Rolling, the Lord, we're rolling And heaven is farther up the road Rings are turning and returning Oh, get by me, Satan, he's too slow We're rolling up that hallelujah turn by Heading home Rolling, Lord, we're rolling, and heaven is falling up the road. Wheels are turning and returning. Oh, get behind me, say you do so. We're rolling up that alley, you turn by. One more fast song for me. She said if she gives you that fried apple pie, will you sing one more? Yeah, oh Lord, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Apple. Thank you, darling. What's apple. Your name? Ah. Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. Oh. <laughs> How about a fiddle tune? You wanna hear Lee Highway Blues? How about we do Lee Highway Blues? I ain't you know, got no more hair left well, in this bow, but... <laughs> wait a minute. I, gotta get in I got enough wood on it. Maybe it'll last well, a little bit longer. Wood on you. I'm All right. Yeah, all right. Well, you, yeah. Anyway, we're going yeah, to do this song. Will you shut your stuff. mouth? How do you expect me to tell these folks anything? People looking at me, they say I talk too fast. I can't believe and you I can't tell say me to shut my nose. Shut my nose. Shut my mouth in front of these folks. That's right. I you know how that makes me feel. Don't you tell me to shut my mouth. I have no idea. Quiet. How am I going to breathe if I shut my mouth? Just tell me. Just tell me. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Through your nose. Through my nose? Through your nose. <laughs> 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 
believe it's a little booger there, though. <laughs> you know, I can breathe through my nose. You can. Can you breathe through your nose? I sure can. Well, you shut your big mouth then. <laughs> Medication, remember that. <laughs> all right, Lee Highway. I know we had Michael Cleveland here today, and I'm not that good, but I still enjoy playing it, and I hope you enjoy it all the same. Here's one called the Lee Highway. I gotta have a piece of pie. I gotta have a piece of pie. I gotta have a piece of pie. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Where's that family at? I want some more of them. Okay, how, what speed do you want this? Question, old man, is what speed do you want it? I can look at you and tell you was built for comfort and not speed. Now, wait a minute. There are studies that show women who tend to gain a little weight live longer than the men who mention it. at the top of the hill. Bye. The Little Roy and Lizzie Show.